Hello. Hello, my vanilla lattes, and welcome back to our ASMR channel. Stopping in to spend a little time with you because I'm about to clean my beauty tools. And I always receive requests to film this particular video. I laid out my makeup brushes, the ones that I reach for the most. This is the e.l.f. Total Face. And sometimes it doesn't focus. And this is a fluffy brush. I use this exclusively to apply bronzer. I love this brush. This is my bronzer brush. It's dirty, you guys. This is a brush by It Cosmetics. And it's got two sides. This one I use for highlighter. This one I use for blush. Now, they may not seem to be very dirty, but I don't wait until they're saturated with makeup to wash them, okay? I'll use them four or five times. This came in an Ulta Beauty Kit. I use this for blush as well. I got this in a BoxyCharm. It's the Luxie. eyeshadow set. It's not the complete set, but all of these need to be washed, okay? I have warm water with a little Dawn in it, so I'm going to drop these in here, and there's a lot of ways that you can wash your beauty tools, you guys, but this is the method that works for me, okay? Right here I have my makeup brush studio pro pad okay it's a cleaning pad this one's by BH cosmetics you can see this one's been used quite a bit I love this pad so much this side I use for the bigger brushes this I use for the eyeshadow brushes so you can see and again I've only used it about five times gonna go right in there. This is my backup pad. It's not as dirty as that one. Isn't that cute? It's a watermelon. But I'm gonna wash it as well. Drop it right in there. Right here I have the beauty sponges that need to be washed. This one is my favorite. For applying foundation and you can see that it's really needs to be washed again I've used it four or five times but I always use this sponge to apply foundation so into the bath this is the total face sponge by elf I love this so much I use this for applying the loose powder to set my foundation Okay, I've had this for over a year, but look, I take care of my stuff, you guys, but it needs to be washed. This is a tiny, adorable, look, it says Cherry Coke, came in my Cherry Coke by Morphe collection. I use this for concealer application and also to set my primer and my concealer with a powder. Gonna drop that in there. This I use to apply the cream blushes. And I use this when I apply the Wonder Beauty cream blush. And this is just a little tiny sponge that I use. Sometimes just to spot touch up with concealer sometimes if I have a blemish or something. So I'm going to drop that in there. So this water's nice and warm. You're going to see how the product starts to come right off. It does have soap in it. Look, you see how this is coming clean 
fairly quickly because it's just powder that's on it. You see that? This one's going to take a little longer. And I might have to apply directly some liquid soap, the dish soap, on this one because it has more product on it. This one shouldn't be too hard to clean. You know, you just squeeze it. I apologize if you can hear that racket in the background. I don't know what's going on. There's a automotive shop a street up. They might be working on some vehicles or something. This is going to come clean relatively quickly, because it's not that dirty. This one, I might have to put a touch of dish soap on it. Now let's check this out. I'm going to rub it. It's going to take a couple of turns in the soapy water to come clean. And so I use these when I'm applying eyeshadow because sometimes I'll use the same brush for two different colors and I'll just wipe it on here. Now these, all you have to do is press the tips and the product comes right off of it. And really, you guys, you should wash these as often as you can. They're going to last a long time if you do. If you never wash them, then you're just going to have to toss them. After you use them for a while, you just press that product right off of there. This is a spoolie. And again, you're going to put a nice clean towel right underneath this. Because in a little while, we're going to lay these flat to dry. Okay, you see how this water is already all cloudy? I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to make some new water with just a pinch of soap, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is clean warm water with just a pinch of soap and you're going to see that most of these beauty tools are already clean. Look, if it has just a touch of makeup on it, that's not a big deal, but look at the brushes, you guys. They're already clean, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze out the water. And I'm going to lay them flat. Look at this wonderful brush. I love this brush. Squeeze out the water. Again, this is the bronzer brush. I'm going to let all of these brushes air dry. This is a tool I use to do the... When I put a touch of eyeshadow in the inner corner of my eye. This is what I use. Put it right there. Squeeze the water out. This is a fluffy brush. Put it right there. This is the angled brush. Just squeeze the water. It's already clean. Here's the spoolie. See, when you clean these off, and your tools are going to be intact. They're going to clean very quickly. You're going to let these air dry. Okay. Now, my advice to you is please do not have one beauty sponge and one beauty brush. Okay. You can buy these beauty tools on clearance. I'm not suggesting you spend an arm and a leg. 
that you can buy beauty tools on clearance and pay a very reasonable price. That way when you wash the ones you use all the time, you'll have some backups. Well, let's look at this. See if this came clean. See, it's just got a touch of product there. It's not a big deal, okay? Let's see if it'll let's see if it'll come out. This should be ready to go. This is the total face beauty sponge by Elf. But see how it's all clean? I use this for setting powder. Just getting all that excess soap out of it. This one I did have to apply a little bit of extra dish soap on it. You see how it's coming clean? This little star, well, it still has a touch of product on it, but you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. We're going to lay this down. This is ready. Okay. Gonna lay it down right there. Gonna make some space here, okay? Let's put the straw star there. We'll put that there. We've got our tools laid out real nice right here. Now let's see what's going on with the pro pad. Studio Pro. Let's see how it's all clean. Now you can always get a towel or a paper towel and just pat all that extra water off of it. I'm going to lay that there. This is clean as well. I'm going to lay that right there. You know what? I'll put it right here. Well, that's pretty much as clean as I want it to be. I'm going to lay that there. under the water because you see how it still has soap on it. Probably just going to rinse it under some warm water. So I'll be right back. Let me just rinse these out and I'll be right back. So everything's ready now. Okay, everything's going to be laid out to dry. Here are the sponges. It's not perfectly clean, but that's okay. Use the pad. Okay, so you just lay everything out, and in about a day and a half, in about a day and a half, about a day and a half, all of this is going to be dry. Okay? Roger doesn't realize I'm filming a video. I'm filming a video. Oh, okay. But we're already done, so see, so you just want to make sure everything's nice and clean, air dry, and you'll be ready to go in about a day and a half. And so until we meet again.